Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to tap your network for real estate funding. All right, when it comes to OPM, finding other people's money, raising capital, bringing on joint venture partners, the big question always is always, who should I be focusing on? Should I be going out and trying to find strangers or credit investors and bring them on board with my deals? Should I be talking with friends and family? Where do I start when it comes to raising capital? So on today's video, we're going to talk about exactly who to focus on, where they are, how to get the ball rolling with them, and how to raise six figures in a matter of weeks and even seven figures in a matter of months by tapping into your network. All right, so when it comes to raising capital, especially finding private lenders or joint venture partners, I'm going to recommend, especially when you're just starting with this, to laser focus in on your existing network, your existing connections. So who are those people? They're your friends, they're your family members, they're co-workers, business associates, people you know from your civic organizations like Rotary or Lions or whatever you're into, people that you know from sporting teams, people you know from the uh, parent-teacher association. You've got an existing relationship with these people. That's who I'm going to recommend that you really, really focus in on, especially when you're first starting to access OPM and, and raise capital. So there's a number of reasons for this. And the first reason is, it is the easiest source of capital you're going to come across, especially as a new capital raiser. At this point, you've got zero track record working with OPM, with other people's money. Maybe you've self-financed your first several deals, you hit the wall, but you don't have a track record yet of having investor partners on board. So quite frankly, if you're trying to go out and finding, find accredited investors for your deals, why would they pay any attention to you? You've got no proof of concept working with other investors. So the easiest source of capital for you is to really leverage your existing connections, right? Because at the end of the day, it's all back to know, like, and trust. For somebody to invest with you, they need to know you, like you, and trust you with their money. Focus on your existing network. You've got all of that taken care of. They know you, they like you, and they trust you. Maybe not with 100 grand yet, but you've got a pre-existing relationship with those folks. So focus on your existing network first. Another big advantage of focusing on your existing network is that you know where they are. You know who they are. You know how to reach out to them and access these people. Versus if you're going out to everybody and anybody, that's pretty big. That's a very broad scope to go after. So by focusing on your existing network, you know exactly who they are, where they are. They might be Facebook friends. You might have them on your phone. You might have them in your email contacts, but you can reach out to these people and connect directly with them and they already know who you are. So that is a huge leg up for starting that conversation and getting the ball rolling. Another big advantage to reaching out to your existing network is you've already got something in common. You know each other, there's some sort of connection there. It's easy to start that conversation. You've got kind of a, a common footing. So you've got something to talk about right from the get-go versus trying to start a brand new re uh, relationship from scratch with a stranger. It's very, very difficult to take a stranger to becoming a, an acquaintance, to becoming a friend, to becoming an investor. That takes a long time. Why not start with people that are already almost at the finish line and just work on that relationship and taking that to the next level instead? It just makes your life so much easier. Another, another big advantage to focusing on your existing network is that it's a lot safer. Again, I'm not a lawyer or a securities guy, but my understanding is that you and I as mom and pop real estate investors, it's actually illegal for us to go out to the general public and solicit people to become our investors. And I know, I know, you see a lot of people doing this on social media and they're getting away with it until they don't. And then it might be a very, very painful and expensive wake up lesson for them when they get caught. So avoid that in the first place, focus on being compliant, working within the rules and regulations. And my understanding is we can bring on joint venture partners and investors from within our existing network if we have a substantial pre-existing relationship with the person who's investing with us. So it keeps us safe, keeps us compliant, keeps us under the radar with the securities department. Another big advantage of working with people in your existing network is you're literally able to spread the wealth. I mean, think about it. You and I understand the big benefits of investing in real estate. We understand what kind of profits are possible, what kind of wealth generation is possible through real estate investing. The average person doesn't really get that. So by bringing on your friends and your family members and your connections into your deals, 
you're helping do them do something they cannot or will not do on their own, and that is invest in real estate. You're helping them achieve their financial goals at the same time that they're helping you achieve yours. It truly is one of those win-win kind of scenarios when you do it properly. The other thing that's fun about working within your existing networks is you never really know who's going to become one of your investor partners or joint venture partners. A great example of this is one of our clients, Io, and Io did this whole process with us. And right off the get-go, he got serious interest and a commitment from, who, from somebody who he really didn't expect this to happen with. And that was the, his friend who owned his local car wash. So Io would go in there all the time to get his car washed. He became friends with the owner of the, of the company. And when he started this whole process, that gentleman reached out to him and said, Hey, Io, I'm interested in investing in your deals. In fact, I believe he had $200,000 to invest with Io in his property. Io never thought about this guy in the first place. He, he never would have reached out to him otherwise. And it was really a very pleasant surprise as to who came on board as his investor partners. Then the other cool thing about focusing on your existing network is the people that end up investing with you tend to know other people who have capital as well. If you do a good job with referrals and testimonials, you can get introduced to their friends with capital, start that relationship, get them engaged, and eventually bring those people on board as your investor partners as well. And that's how you're able to really get this whole process snowballing. And then last but not least, when you're working with people that you have that pre-existing relationship with, there tends to be a lot more, a lot more loyalty. That's right. I mean, if you're just working with accredited investors who don't really know you, then they're going to flit and flop from one deal to the other, one investor to the other. There's no loyalty there. But when you're working with existing connections and you're doing a good job with them and they're happy with the returns they're going to get with you, they're going to repeat invest with you over and over and over again. And chances are they're going to refer you to other people a lot more than otherwise. So really, really focus on your existing network first. It's the fastest, easiest, and safest way to raise capital. All right, if you're wondering how can you tap into your existing network to raise capital, I've got the solution. It's called the Money Partner Formula. It's my process for doing this to help you raise six figures in a matter of weeks and even seven figures in a matter of months, especially by tapping into your existing network. So go ahead, get your copy of the book. The price is right. It's free. Just go to InvestorAttractionBook.com and grab your copy today.